Welcome to this introduction video. In this video, I'm going to quickly give you an introduction to what automation is, what N8N is, and how that fits into this ecosystem of uh, automation and the AI tools that are kind of moving into space and what the future looks like. So automation refers to basically using any kind of a technology or any kind of tool to perform tasks with minimal human intervention. That's kind of the overall gist of uh, what automation is and the goal of automation is to save time reduce errors and really kind of increase efficiency because if you're doing repetitive works that's where automation comes in to remove those repetitive tasks and make it predictable right so automation could be used in business in marketing in customer support and pretty much in every single industry nowadays because of these AI tools that are becoming more and more powerful so there are two types of um, automations there's the process automation and then there's a task automation uh, process automation basically refers to automating any kind of complex workflow like for example invoice generation would be a good example of what a complex workflow might look like but on top of that now with these AI uh, tools that are being introduced in the market you can make extremely complex automation and then there's also the uh, task automation which means this will be automating simple and repeatable tasks right so for example sending a follow-up email uh, chatting with customer support all of these all of this is something that can be very easily repeatable and therefore very easily uh, automated so that's kind of the overview of what the concepts of automations are and um, what that space is so there has been a huge obviously uh, influx of no code and low code uh, tools that have come into this space because of ai tools right so uh, no code tools or low code tools like and it and really empowers users that previously didn't have technical knowledge to really get involved and build workflows because of the fact that these user interface for these tools have become extremely powerful where now you don't need to have any background in coding where before in order for you to build these automation using these uh, uh, technical uh, tools you needed needed to know how to code otherwise there was no way for you to be able to jump in and create these automations or workflows yourself so these introduction of these low code and no code tools that have been coming in the market lately because of ai that has really removed this barrier to enter in this space and that's what is extremely exciting as we move forward in the future so what these no code and low code tools do they really speed up development and uh, like I mentioned, it kind of removes that gap between the technical and non-technical users. Uh, where before it was very difficult for a non-technical and technical user to collaborate, but now thanks to these great tools, you can actually collaborate with developers, with technical people, because you have a very low barrier to entry. So that's where we kind of come to NADN. So NADN is an extremely powerful tool. Um, it is a no-code automation tool, but there's obviously a lot of uh, customization options so if you are good at coding or if you know coding already you can even build more complex tools right but the barrier to entry to building these automation tools have completely been removed because of the fact that tools like NNN are in the market and in my opinion NNN is the best tool when it comes to building powerful automations and building powerful AI agents specifically uh, because of the fact that they are focus is more shifting towards building AI agents and they're releasing uh, really great um, tools on top of their existing integrations that they have to make it really, really powerful. So one of the biggest features, in my opinion, uh, that NADN has compared to other tools that are out in the market is the fact that you can actually self-host all of this. Self-hosting gives you huge advantage when it comes to the privacy of your data, right? Because a lot of companies Companies, a lot of um, individuals are very hesitant to share their data with third-party um, APIs or third-party uh, apps. Therefore, the ability to self-host NADN in your instances really gives you that peace of mind and full control over your data and therefore privacy. So that's kind of a huge uh, benefit there. Um, and then also on top of that, uh, NADN is also extremely flexible, uh, which means that it has existing native integration with other apps. But on top of that, it gives you also access to uh, uh, tools that you can connect with third party apps that it doesn't have integration with. Um, another biggest thing, in my opinion, is the cost. When it comes to these no code or low code tools that are out there in the market and Zapier, Make.com are kind of um, in the same space. And there's other tools as well, but these are kind 
kind of the most popular ones. When it comes to cost, honestly, it's, none of these tools are even close to in it. So tools like Zapier and Make.com, they actually charge um, per per operation versus uh, and then actually charge per workflow. And again, I understand if you're new to this, you, this might not make any sense to you, but just to show you kind of the difference. And again, these charts and this, this data is taken directly from uh, Anadin's blog. And I have this link that I'll, that I'll put in the description below. So that way you can check out and read the whole blog if you want, because they go really do a good job of explaining why Anadin stands out when it comes to cost. Even if you're using their um, cloud app, it's still extremely cheap. But if you use this as a support option, that becomes even more cheap, right? And like I said, we will explain and explore those things further down. But this was just uh, an idea for you to get an understanding of what this space is and why and it and really stands out compared to the other tools. And also uh, a huge difference between, in my opinion, uh, between NADN and the rest of the tools that are in the market when it comes to the automation space is their AI tools. They have really shifted their focus on AI. They definitely are moving and they're understanding that the future of uh, these tools are moving towards uh, building AI agents that's going to be specific to different tasks that will sit on top of these large language models. And that's where we're really going to focus and explore the power of NNN. All right, so that was kind of a quick introduction of uh, the automation space and these different tools. In the next video, I'm going to introduce you to the NNN app, the Canvas, how to sign up for the free 14-day trial NNN account so that way you can get started. Um, and then I'm going to do a quick introduction of how you can start to build your own little automations to be able to get a good understanding before you move on to the rest of the tutorials. Um, so this will be a good foundation for you to uh, understand and get started with NNN. All right, so I'll see you on the next one.